Hello? No. No! Okay. No, no. I need to teach you right now. I'm gonna teach right now. Okay, bye. Sorry guys, that was my mom. <laughs> um, someone remind me what I'm supposed to be doing? Anyone in the audience? You're supposed to be teaching improper, improper fractions. Oh, that's it? We're gonna work on mixed fractions. Mixed fractions. Oops, wrong one. Mixed fractions and improper fractions. And it'd be something like that. So mixed fractions. I have a whole number and a fraction with it. Improper fraction, if you can see, the numerator is bigger than the, the denominator. I'm going to show you how to go from mixed to improper and from improper back to this one. And this is what we're going to be doing. This is one of the most basic, basic skills you need to have in all the fractions, okay? So let me erase this really quick. So in order to go from a mixed fraction to improper, I'm gonna show you a model of what that looks like, a picture of what that looks like, okay? So I'm gonna draw out my two and one thirds. So I'm gonna draw out my two whole numbers, okay? And I'm broken up into thirds because this is what my fraction is here, okay? My thirds, and this is gonna be my one third here. Since this is two holes, all of this is filled up. And here's my one third. Okay. In order to go from go to go from here to here, all you have to do is count up the pieces that are there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then how many it was broken each slice was in thirds, and that's what I'm gonna keep it into. So it becomes seven thirds. That's what the picture version is basically telling us. Instead of just saying this is one hole, two holes. From going from mixed to improper, you're just counting each individual slice, that's your numerator, and just keeping your same denominator. Going from mixed to improper, you're just counting each individual slice, that's your numerator, and just keeping your same denominator. Going from mixed to improper, you're just counting each individual slice, that's your numerator, and just keeping your same denominator. Because that's how big the slices are. Okay. And this is... The multiplication way. Okay, this is the um, the way we're gonna end up doing it all of fifth grade. So we have our, let me use the same color. We have our two and one thirds, right? This is what you do. You do two times three first. Two times three, and then you add the one up here. What's two times three? That's six. Six plus the one up here will give you seven, and we keep the same denominator, okay? That's two, the whole number, times the denominator, add the numerator. Two, the whole number, times the denominator, add the numerator. Two, the whole number, times the denominator, add the numerator. Two, the whole number, times the denominator, add the numerator. So two times three, which gave us six, plus one will give us the new numerator, okay? Action. Action. Going from improper to mixed this way, from going from this to here, all you got to do is, first I'm going to write it out so you guys can see, okay? I'm going to skip count by my denominator. Skip count by my denominator, okay? So I'm skip counting by three. Three, six. And then I can't go up to nine because I only had seven. So you stop at six. Okay, I have two fingers up, so I'm gonna write two. I had seven here, and I had to stop at six at my skip counting. That leaves me with one. And then I keep my denominator here. Whatever's left over becomes your new numerator. And that's how you call it. That's not how you call. That's 
how you do fractions. Uh.